Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot reading for October 17th, the 23rd. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Sagi, I've got the nine card block here, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. Oracles are lead tarot energy and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Sagi, you are coming out of a major challenge cycle is what I'm feeling here. I mean, you've got 10 of Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Justice, and the Five of Swords. So whatever struggle or challenge that you've been going through, I do feel that you're about to turn the corner. And we've got a beautiful Ace here that indicates new energy, new beginnings, um, you know, divine gifts coming in for you. Now, the, the first card out was the destruction of shiny things. Now, I'm wondering if that was part of maybe what got you into that pickle in the first place. I mean, shiny things can be, okay, we, we spend too much money on, on things to make us feel better or even, you know, entering into relationships with people that it might all seem shiny on the outside, but we haven't really gone deeper or maybe we didn't really know, you know, who they were at the core. So... I guess there's a message of now being discerning and really um, looking a little bit deeper before you truly engage with things. And I've got manifesting and doing because it feels like you are trying to get ahead. You know, you're trying to make things happen here, Sag. So there's some focus that is really needed here, determination and really being, you know, active in, in making these positive changes. I have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And the Capricorn energy, of course, is about taking a practical, grounded, methodical approach to, you know, really um, getting ourselves out of these pickles, like making a plan, breaking it down into steps and milestones. Lead energy is the Ten of Swords, and this usually indicates the very final ending of a tough cycle. One that I am feeling here, Sag, has gone on for quite some time for you. I'm kind of feeling into the decade of struggle, actually. It might have been a series of different events that has caused you pain, and with the Ten of Swords, it can feel like deception or betrayal. Next to the Five of Swords, I think it feels like you've been fighting a losing battle here. You know, maybe you just start getting ahead and something else happens. But the energy is switching and changing. And when the Fives show up in Tarot, which you've got two of, you're really at an important turning point, an important, um, 
you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for for the Two of Swords? Crossroads, that's it. <laughs> You're at an important crossroads of change here. And it's really, you know, vital that we make clear decisions now because you have the, the chance to work with this energy. So Ten of Swords talks about the final ending before the new dawn, the new day. And, you know, you could actually be ending some kind of, of contract here with justice in the reading. It could be the end of a marriage. It could be the end of, you know, uh, a rental agreement or a lease or the end of an employment contract is also what I'm feeling here. One that's really maybe you hadn't been able to get out of for some time. I can see that you've been in the crossroads in the situation for a while and seeking or calling in, manifesting and doing the things that you need to do to bring in a new opportunity. And I do feel that that is arriving in the time around this reading in the form of the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe you needed an injection of cash to be able to make these changes. Maybe you needed a new job to go to, a new home to go to, so that you could initiate this justice call here, which is a change and adjustment and modification to bring those karmic scales back into balance, Sagi. After a long period where I think things have felt unfair for you, okay, so you're making decisions here. Um, I think that the Ace of Pentacles is arriving and you will, again, I'm coming back to that plan. It's like you need to be strategic about how you move towards it as not to end up in maybe some kind of conflict or some kind of dispute here as well. So that's what I'm feeling. Now, in terms of signs here, I've got double Libra with Justice and the Queen of Swords. I have Cancer, Queen of Cups. I have Aries Queen of Wands and I have Taurus here with the King of Pentacles so you may or may not be dealing with one of those people. So the Queen of Swords at the heart of the reading is an active forward moving energy. You know most of the characters in this reading are looking forward. It's like no turning back okay. This is a time to stay clear okay. The Queen of Swords is ultimately so clear on your truth and what you need to do in order to transform your situation here. But you will need to, to meet this with a, a dose of determination, which is the Queen of Wands energy. She has Aries energy. It's about baking, making bold moves and staying really, really focused on your manifestation here, really driven by your instincts. Now, the Queen of Cups is hanging out here too. And um, this could be an indication that emotions might be rising at this time. And your role really is to stay grounded and stay focused during this time. Also stay intuitive and feel your way through the situation in a time that I feel that you might be called to, to overthink it. So you've got three queens here as well. This could be that whatever this opportunity is, there might be more people that are in the mix, more people that are competing for this, okay? Because sometimes the Five of Swords can be a competitive energy and it talks about winning at all costs. So I'm just going to call that there needs to be fair play in this situation, no matter what it is or how you're going to go about it. Just make sure that you are operating with the clarity, you know, the truth and integrity of the Queen of Swords here. That's going to, to really work in your favor is what I'm hearing here. And I think that's going to, you know, help you um, mitigate this Five of Pentacles down here, which can be a fear or of loss, real or perceived loss here. Um, sometimes the Five of Pentacles is worry about monetary loss or you know, maybe you even had the situation here as part of this Ten of Swords ending or this, you know, end of the contract. There might be a temporary period where money, you know, isn't as abundant or isn't flowing as well. But I'm feeling like with that next to the King of Pentacles, this is just temporary, okay? We're going from a Five of Pentacles to a King. And we're going to be ending a, a cycle of struggle and stress with a big sigh of relief in the form of the Ten of Wands. So this too shall pass if that is happening for you. Now the King of Pentacles could actually be the person who is offering you the Ace of Pentacles. Now this could be somebody who's in some kind of leadership position. It could be 
coming from a bank manager. It could be a verdict in your favor from a judge or a business owner. Um, it could be an offer of work from somebody who owns a company or is a manager. It can be an authoritarian figure. It's Taurus energy for me. But the King of Pentacles um, is the foreshadowing that whatever this opportunity is, if you invest in it and if you meet it with time, effort and energy, Saji, that it can grow, it can expand. The King of Pentacles is the the you know the, the head of the money suit, the Pentacles, and this person sits here in opulence, okay, has done the hard yards to, to grow this abundance. So I'm not saying it's going to go from ace to king in the space of a week, but this is about the direction that that path can lead you in. Okay, and um, I just feel it's going to get you out of a period of struggle. That Ten of Wands is, you know, maybe you've had some kind of burden around I'm feeling, you know, career, money, finance. And that would be different for all of you how that that arose. But very soon you're going to be able to put down this heavy load. And that weight's going to come off your shoulders. And you know that the direction is set for newfound abundance. So let's grab another one, Sag. And we have got the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just really what I'm feeling like. If you invest in this, if you work towards it, you you will know that you're carving out this new path, the path to abundance. The Eight of Pentacles is known as that the worker card. And that will be your victory. Ace of Swords. A new beginning, a major breakthrough, a major turning point here that's going to set the direction towards recovery financially, abundance building, you know, being able to get into a place of ultimate stability and security and maybe, you know, purchase a home or some comforts that the King of Pentacles loves so much. But be mindful in the meantime of the destruction of shiny things, keep manifesting and doing and that is how this tough cycle will come to an end. So that's what I have for you, Sag. I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not resonate for you. But do feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share because I love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe on your way out to support the channel and keep so many readings coming. I'm wishing you much love and magic for the week ahead, Saji. Do take care. Bye for now.